All right, guys, Craig and Colt James. Man, we're over here at Lake Grace. It's about eight o'clock in the morning, last week of January. The temperature's running 47 degrees. We're at the back end of a cold front. Um, but anyway, we showed up late on purpose this morning. This is our first time ever over here, ain't it, Colt? Yes, sir. Uh, we got a tournament next week, the King of the Kayak Series, the opening tournament of the year. And since we hadn't been here before, we wanted to take a look around. And I'm glad we did. This darn GPS, it took us in on some back roads, didn't it? Yes, sir. We're back here on a dirt road now. It looks like we're on the north end of the lake. Um, and it looks like it, you know, widens out as you go further down. It's a really long lake. So uh, we're going to, you know, try to take a look around today, see what all the lake's got to offer, hopefully catch some fish, right? Yes, sir. I hope so. Well, we'll check back in with y'all when we get out on the water in a little bit. Really? Yeah. Want some another coat, man? Keep him on there. This way. This way. Yes, sir. That's a keeper. Way to go, brother. A little bump, bump. Here we go. Yes, sir. Man, what do you got here, coat man? Here, you get him out of there. You don't get your hook, you gotta. Mm -hmm. Man, look right there, he gonna be a close one. Let's see, show him off to the camera there. All right, Colt, man, you ready to turn him loose? Give him a big kiss. All right, bye. Jack, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Here he'll cut. He's got teeth, son. That thing got some teeth on him. I'm gonna grab him like a Yeah, he'll bite you. Can I grab him like a but you gotta make sure he ain't gonna. He slides. There you I go. Hey, hey, let me see him there. Look at him. That's cool. Where I yeah, I'm just what I'm trying. I'm trying to learn from you. Oh, I just had a bite. Hey, did you? Mm -hmm. Dang. Yes, yes, sir. Another one, Colt man. Putting a whooping on them. <laughs> Let me see what you got there. Well, we're leaving Lake Lindsey Grace, and I think it about whipped our butts. Well, I should say, I guess my butt, Colt caught three fish. Um, it was cold, wet, the water was in the, I bet the high 40s to low 50s, just rough fishing conditions. But we did manage, like I say, or we, I keep saying we, but I should say Colt managed to get on some fish. I said, I'm gonna let him tell you what Colt kind of, what was the pattern today? Uh, the pattern was, uh, uh, it was, um, Islands. Islands. Islands sums it up. Yeah. See? I mean, we got that one jack at that uh, yeah, dam. Right yeah, right there, there at the dam where the spillway kicks out. But. Yeah. And so that's pretty much, he's right. It seemed like the fish were on the islands. I actually lost a fish out here. Don't know what it was. I'm going to call him an eight pounder since I lost him. But, but like I say, Colt put some fish in the boat. You know, good day. 
considering the weather we really enjoy getting to check out the lake we spent a lot of time doing that we only fished probably what maybe two hours total yeah, two hours. And, and that's what told us about the islands uh we didn't spend a lot of time around them but that's where the bites came so we're gonna try that come tournament day hopefully it works out for us thank y'all for joining us today on lake lindsey grace and we'll catch y'all next time all right, as y'all can see from that, super tough practice me and Colt had. Fast forward a week later, it's tournament day, and conditions aren't any better. As a matter of fact, they're way worse. Strong 15-mile-an-hour wind coming out of the north. Uh, finally, after an hour and a half or so with no bites, no action, we managed to find some fish stacked up on an island. And the, the bad news is they were right in the wind. Um, we couldn't really find a way to keep our bait down, and then eventually we come up with this setup. It's a VMC rugby head and a four inch zoom finesse worm. And this quarter ounce head was able to get to the bottom. I don't know how well you can see this. And because of its design, it would stand up and it worked really well. So I'm gonna show the rest of the tournament. We made a good run at the money. Let's see how it winds up. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna try to push your nose around you. There you go. I think I'm either hung or I got a fish, one. I think I got a darn. I don't know what I got, Colt. That feels like a fish. I do. A decent fish, too. Oh, shit, man. He's decent. I don't know what it is. It's almost like a catfish. He's a keeper. <laughs> you believe that? Why are we getting you in on? Wow. He absolutely choked it, son. That's what I used to do when I didn't have my anchor. turn yourself over though huh? don't turn yourself over there we go fish fish, fish. a decent one no no hold on buddy for y'all it's about 10 45 sitting in first by literally just a fraction of an inch i think we found some good fish though stacked up on this island weeded through some short ones got a couple around the 14 15 inch range still a lot of time left though we need to get another bite just anchored up fishing slow waiting on that big one. All right, as y'all seen there, after catching those two quality fish and sliding into first place around 10, 15 in the morning, I quickly slipped down to third. You know, I kept knowing I needed to get one more good bite to win. Uh, unfortunately, that bite never came. That's just how tournament fishing goes. But all in all, it was a great day at the first King of the Kayak Series event of the year. I'm already ready for event number two. I've got all my money on my boy Colt James to win it all. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel like this video click on the notifications icon so you can get more content from us and uh, until next time god bless and tight lines we'll see y'all out on the water